Coming up, I'm gonna show you how to take an old device that's gathering dust and turn it into a home automation control center. Hands on Android is brought to you from LastPass Studios. You're focused on security, but are your employees? Well, LastPass can ensure that they are by making access and authentication seamless, whether employees are working in the office or remotely. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. This is Twit. Hello everyone and welcome to Hands on Android. I'm Jason Howell. So sometimes I'm, when I'm sitting around thinking about Android things, I'm thinking, holy cow, I've got a whole bunch of devices just kind of hanging out, not doing anything, right? They're stuck in a drawer. Maybe it's a phone from four years ago. It's still usable for something, right? But it's not my daily driver. And maybe you have a device hanging out in your house and you're finding yourself asking yourself the same question. So there are a lot of different things that you can do with those old devices. And today I'm going to focus on one way that you can take that old device and put it to use. And it actually uses an app that I have talked about in a previous episode, in an episode that where I focused on advanced assistant tips. The app is called Action Blocks. Now you may remember Action Blocks. This is an app you can find it in the Google Play Store. It's by Google. It allows you to create Google Assistant buttons on your home screen. So the idea is that you tap this single button that you create and it fires off a simple or a complex multi-step Google Assistant command. And uh, that's all there is to it. You didn't have to speak it. All you had to do is hit the button. It was actually created with accessibility in mind, but it's super useful for anyone. And I'm going to show you how you can use this to do things like take an old device and turn it into a control panel for all of your home automation. Because why? Why would you need to do this? Well, take a look at the home app. On the flip side, within the home app, you see it's very thorough. Yes, which is nice. One of the things I really like about what Google's done with a home app, but all of my home automation controls are in here like every single one of them. And uh, sometimes that can be a little overwhelming. Sometimes there's stuff in there that I use all the time. Other times there's stuff in there that in my day to day, it's just taking up space. It's visual clutter. I'm gonna open this app and have to search for the thing I want to do instead of simply just going right to the things that I know I'm gonna want to do each time. So this is where Action Blocks really comes in. Using Action Blocks, I can install it on an old tablet that I have here, the Huawei MediaPad M5 Lite. It's just gathering dust, so I might as well turn it into a home automation control center using Action Blocks. So that's what we're gonna do. So I dug out the tablet and uh, I want to be sure, of course, that Action Blocks is actually installed on my device. You can find it, like I said, in the Play Store. I also want to take some time and remove anything from the home screen. My idea here is that, you know, this tablet used to be used for gaming and a few other, you know, media consumption, that sort of stuff. But if I'm using this for a control panel, say I'm going to hang it up at the front door somewhere, uh, I want only the content that I need to control my home to be displayed there. So I'm gonna remove anything that's on the home screen that's unnecessary for this single use device. So that's all apps, widgets, all that stuff from the display. And I'm gonna leave behind a very basic and bland layout, which happens to be the perfect workspace for action blocks to be dropped into. So now would be a good time to really take a few minutes and think about what are the features that I want displayed on my device, right? Sometimes it's it's easy to bark out a simple uh, function to assistant, maybe one command, but you can string them together and that's what I'm gonna show off today. And you kinda gotta get it right uh, in order for assistant to do all of those things perfectly. So some examples of what I'm considering, uh, turning on uh, certain lights in my house. I wanna watch TV function that turns on uh, the living room lights to 35% and then turns on the TV. Um, I want you know an easy one tap ability to turn the heat to 70 degrees uh, at any time when I'm walking by, I can just tap it and boom, it goes. I want a large welcome home button. And this welcome home button is gonna turn on the living room lights. It's gonna set the thermostat to 70 degrees as we get into colder months here. And it's gonna play Home Sweet Home by Motley Crue because why the heck not? Uh, and then maybe a large goodbye button. And this is gonna turn off all the lights in the home as well as set the thermostat down to 68 degrees so I can save a little bit on my electricity and gas bill. I could go on, but you catch my drift. So think about this for yourself and you might jot them down before you get to this next step. 
So let's start to construct these actions inside action blocks. I'm gonna start with an easy, simple, uh, single action. So I'm gonna tap to create a custom action and it's going to be make it 70 degrees. When I speak this into assistant, it actually works. It ties into my system. I'm, I'm going to deactivate speak action aloud here because I really don't need to hear this action when it's run. Otherwise, it'll speak it aloud for me. And I don't even know why I would need to hear that. And I can tap now to test it out and see if this action, make it 70 degrees, does what I expect. And sure enough, when I run through it, assistant sends that action to my thermostat in the home and does exactly what I planned for. In action blocks, I'm going to go ahead and confirm that it did what I expected. And of course, if it didn't work the way that I expected, I can go in there, I can change it, I can tweak it and, uh, you know, test it again until I get it just right. You really want to make sure that you get it just right. Now in the next screen, I can assign an image to the block that's going to appear on my home screen. This image is going to be the button, essentially. You can, of course, create your own custom images for here, but for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and opt for one of the pre-made uh, images and find the little thermostat image that's buried in there. And now um, I'm gonna go ahead and accept that on this device. If I wanna drop this widget in, I actually have to go out to the home screen, but I also wanna make sure that I name this so that there's a little label. So I'm gonna go ahead and name it 70 degrees and make sure that that is saved to the action. And then I'll go out to my home screen and pull up my widgets. And there you can see an action block widget down there. I'll drag it onto my home screen and, uh, and I can then select which of the action blocks that I have in my, in my um, layout, which of those is going to be placed on my home screen. And there it is. Everything looks great. If I tap it, that action is fired off in Assistant. And yes, my thermostat changes to 70 degrees. Now, that was an easy one, right? It was a single function uh, action block. And right now I'm going to do one of the more complicated ones. Let's do the fun one, the welcome home action. There's three stages in this one, if you remember. So we're going to go through this. So tap to create an action block again, and we are going to create a custom action once again. And now here's where I formulate the combined list of actions to carry out the task. And this, like I said, can take a little bit of work to string them together to find the combination that works. In this case, I want to turn on my living room lights. I want to make it 70 degrees in the house. And I want to play uh, Home Sweet Home by Motley Crue on all Google Homes throughout the house. And I might actually regret that one, but we'll see. So I'll go ahead and write down the following command in action blocks. Turn on living room lights and make it 70 degrees, and play Home Sweet Home by Motley Crue on all rooms. And when I test this out, when I tap to test it out, there's a little bit of a delay, I get a little vibration on the device, but everything does ultimately do what it's supposed to do and in sequence. And yeah, I'm probably gonna get sick of, of hearing that Motley Crue song, I'm not even really a huge fan of that song, to be honest, but I just thought it was fitting. So at some point I might want to change it and I could easily do that by jumping back into <laughs> action blocks and making the change. But from here, I'm going to go ahead and pick an image that works. In this case, I found the cover art for Home Sweet Home. That seems perfect to me. Why would it go with anything else? And I'll go ahead and place that uh, widget, that action blocks widget on my home screen. Once again, make it large, make it look nice, and it does exactly what I need it to do when I walk through that front door. And now I can add all of the other commands to my home screen here. And you know, this, like I said, this can take some time to set up. You can shuffle them around, make them larger, make them smaller. Really, you can just set up the layout so that it appeals to you and that it's easy to use when you walk through the door. And with, when the dust settles, uh, you'll have a single purpose device that you can keep mounted at the front door for easy control of your smart home like I have right here. So the idea here is to really kind of uh, get creative. You know, what are the things that might simplify your life that you could tie into a single button press for when you get through uh, the front door? You know, another consideration here is that you're going to have a device uh, there. Maybe it's mounted. I'm not sure where you're going to put it. You might have to run some power to it. So you can also get creative there as far as how you set this up, or maybe you have it just sitting uh, on a counter right near the front door. 
whatever the case may be. It's kind of a fun trick. And even if you don't use it for this, maybe it gives you an idea of what action blocks could be used for other facets of simplifying your life. So check that out. Send me an email and let me know what you come up with. Uh, HOA at twit.tv. Uh, you can also subscribe to the show at twit.tv slash HOA. There you can find all the ways to subscribe in audio and video formats. And you can link out to YouTube if you want to subscribe there. Thank you so much for John Ashley for editing this together. And thanks to you for watching and listening. We'll see you next time on Hands on Android. Want more Twit? Check out Tech News Weekly, twit.tv slash TNW. Tech News Weekly is a show where Jason Howell and I bring the latest and greatest interviews to you from the people making and breaking the tech news. Twit.tv slash TNW.